This is Jake from PokerDatamine.net, and today I'm going to show you how to datamine on Party Poker. To do this, we're going to use a program called Idleminer. If you're not familiar with this, you can read about it on my website at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash party dash poker, and you will also be able to download a free trial if you want to try it out for yourself. So I'll go ahead here and launch Idleminer. Please know that I do not have open the party poker client. If the party poker client is open before uh, you launch idle miner, you won't be able to data mine. So as I said, I'll launch idle miner here. And as you can see, this is a fairly advanced hand grabber. It has a built-in table opener, which I'll get back to later. Um, to get started here, I will just go to options and select manual operations mode. What this means is that it will data mine the tables that we open and only the tables that we open. So I'll click here and now I'll just show you here. You can see that it is now um, it's now checked. You can see this by a little check mark to the left here. And there's a little uh, quirky thing with idle miner here. You will have to uh, to select the stakes you want to data mine, even if you're going to open the table. So I'll just select them here by double clicking, and then I'm just going to ignore this. And since this is the first time I'm running it, I will just um, select where I want to save the hand histories. Um, by default, they're saved to the normal Party Poker hand history directory, but I would like to save them on my desktop so I can show them to you easily here. So I'll go click here and out path. I'm clicking on it, and then as this drop down here, I'm clicking that and then I'll click browse and then I will go select the folder on my desktop called Party Poker HH. So now that I'm ready I have set it to um, data mine four tables here. This is not important right now but we'll use it later. So since I'm ready I will click start and now it asks me if I'm sure that I want to run in manual operations mode and I will click yes and now the idle miner will launch the Party Poker client and I will log in. You don't have to do this, but um, it makes things a little bit easier. Um, if you have it set to um, automatic login, Idlemana will automatically log in for you. I will just um, close the power up here, and now I will open a couple of tables. I will um, I'll try to find some uh, six max. Yeah, here we go. A uh, couple of six max tables. Uh, just bear with me a moment here. Um, Party Poker likes spamming you with pop-ups when you are playing from a, an account that hasn't deposited any money yet. They would really like me to play at their room. So I'm going to uh, show you Idle Miner again. And to the right here, um, in down in the corner, you can see there's a nice little overview of what's going on at the tables. And you can see here the status, it says that it's currently running and it hasn't detected the tables yet. I'll just move it a little bit. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll just have to wait a couple of minutes, uh, seconds here. Um, so um, yeah, there it came. Um, you can see here that it has already saved one hand um, and it's also showing uh, how many hands a minute and how long it has been running for. I will pause the video for a couple of minutes here and then restart it. We'll have gathered around 13 hit histories. I'm back after 9 minutes as, and as you can see there has been saved 47 hands. So I will just um, stop data mining. I'll do this by clicking stop and kill party poker here. Which basically means that I'll mana will uh, shut down all the tables in party poker. Which is nice. And I'll close down our mana too. And now I'll go into Holder Manager and select Import from Folder and go find the folder I save the hand histories in. I like this and click OK. And now you can see that Holder Manager has found four hands, excuse me, four uh, files and have imported 47 hand histories. And now I'll go try looking up one of the players at the tables. I remember some like were called some like Derek. Um, just for the record here, uh, this nick here is not my nick. Uh, um, this is a player I looked up when I made a, my tutorial for Everest Poker Data Mining. I'll go here and look up Derek. See, yeah, Derek Magnum in Party Poker. 
we can see he is playing 24 hands and I'll just go check one of the hands out by going to the hands tab and double click it just to make sure that everything is as it is supposed to be and we can see here that the all the stack sizes are correct and the blind sizes are correct here so I will just fast forward through here it's just like regular hand history nothing special here yeah. if you enjoyed this video and would like to know more about data mining or would like to try out the uh, idle miner yourself you can go to my website um, at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash party dash poker